Some call it a random act of kindness, but one Denver father is calling it a miracle. Down on his luck, James Moss has a story that has now gone viral. Yeah, hundreds of people from around the world are pitching in to help him out. Denver 7 reporter Mark Boyle is live at the Denver Homeless Shelter where Moss and his son are staying tonight. James Moss just came to Denver looking for a better life, but now all he's looking for is a warm place to take his son and rest. That's why they're here at the homeless shelter. But thanks to a lot of generous donations, their nights here could be limited. He's a single father who nearly lost everything in a recent move from New York to Colorado. Now that I'm in a situation like this, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Nobody deserves this. James Moss has no car and no home after housing arrangements fell through. He has a job, and while he works as a barber in Denver, he holds his two-year-old son, Zai, close and his hopes high. There's no reason to give up in the face of adversity. You know, it's just face it head on and deal with it, and things will work themselves out. Down to his last dollars, Moss met this man by chance on a Denver street. Most people don't want to share their pain. Leon Logothetis, a British author and TV host, is crisscrossing the U.S. with an effort called hashtag go be kind. On the spot, Logothetis gave Moss a thousand dollars in a hotel room for a week. I was in tears, man. Those are real tears, man. I was like, I can't believe this. Like, it seemed like God made everything happen. When Moss's story went viral, a stranger from Kansas saw it and set up a GoFundMe account. Go from 250 to 2,000, from 2,000 to 4,000, 4 to 6. In 24 hours, people from all over the country have donated thousands of dollars to help James and Zai. Moss is already looking for ways to give to others and pay it forward. Everybody deserves to be happy. You know what I mean? I really believe in that. I wholeheartedly. Isn't that the truth? And one of the ways he's going to help out is help out the homeless that he's living with right now. Now, he's got a five-year-old daughter that is living with his mother. As soon as he gets a stable place to live, he's hoping to bring her out here also. Live in Denver, Mark Boyle, Denver 7. What a great story. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, spreading that cheer. Nice. I like to hear yeah. it. Thanks a lot, Mark. By the way, the GoFundMe site, raising more money for James and his son, is posted to the DenverChannel.com. Yeah, this is truly proof that there are good people out there because we checked that GoFundMe site. It's already raised more than $25,000. <laughs>